Hey Aquarius, welcome to your reading for April 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your patience also. Um, I had meant to get uh, these last two videos out like a week ago, but it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen that way. I was super busy and also the energies just didn't feel right and I didn't want to rush it and I didn't, you know, I didn't, I wanted to make sure everything was settled and ready to give you guys a good reading. So it's a little late, but hey, it's here nonetheless, yes? Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, uh, just go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. I don't have all of the uh, the readings that I offer listed in the description box anymore just because it was becoming such a mess. There was just so much stuff in there that I, I just I decided to simplify it. So, um, Also, if you would like to get an in-person reading with me, check the description box below. That gives you some details on to how you can do that. Yeah? Um, keeping it simple the same way I did it last month. I'm starting the reading with an oracle card about your month um, from the Unicorn of Oracles, just like a general theme for the month. And then I will be uh, pulling the regular freestyle spread that I do for the, for, for the Zodiac readings from the Golden Universal Tarot. Yeah? Um, yeah, guys, I think that's it. So let's just get started without further ado. Yes? All right, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for April 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what the theme for your month is. Starting you off with your oracle card here. Just going to give this a few shuffles. And we'll see what we get. Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Just one more shuffle. Okay. Here we go. Aquarius. Your theme for the month of April 2019, Aquarius. There it is. What do we have here for you? Action. Okay. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. And it's funny because Taurus got this card too. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe you have Taurus in your chart. Um, maybe you are, excuse me, connected or connecting with a Taurus. You could have a business partner that's a Taurus as well, or some sort of creative partner um, that's a Taurus. I don't know. You might want to check out that reading. Um, but there's now April is definitely a time for you to take action, Aquarius. And I don't know why, but for some, I mean, whatever. It doesn't. Re it really doesn't matter why. But I'm I'm picking up that this actually is financial in nature. Uh, it's work oriented, or maybe some sort of creative goal you may have for your life. Also, what's coming through with this card is that um, there you probably have been going through a lot of personal changes lately, doing a lot of personal work um, to improve yourself, to, to better yourself. You may have, I don't know, Pisces season may have really affected you. I mean, we're officially in Aries season now, but, um, you know, that whole... Mercury in retrograde in Pisces during Pisces season, it was really rough for a lot of us, damn near all of us, you know. So maybe there is a lot of work that you did during that period that now it's time to start taking action from. It's time to start moving forward with any sort of plans or inspiration you may have surrounding that, yeah? Okay, Aquarius, one more shuffle, and then I'm going to get into the rest of the reading here for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Boop. All right, Aquarius. Overall energy. We're starting you off with the Ace of Cups. Very nice. So um, this... Uh, uh, okay. I'm feeling very strongly, very strongly, that for some of you, this has to do with making some sort of offer when it comes to love situation, okay? Um, if you have been feeling inspired, if you've been connecting with someone, this really could be a Taurus. Um, if you've been connecting with someone and you've been feeling the urge or you've been feeling the desire to like make, take some sort of action, well, here you go. Ace of Cups. 
Go for it, especially with the action card that came out here. Also now, especially for those of you that have really been going through a transitional process, um, doing a lot of inner work, now is the time to start taking action on your self-care or the guidance that you're be, you're receiving in terms of uh, making improvements to your life, okay? Because the Ace of Cups doesn't just talk about like divine love or making an offer to someone. It also talks about loving yourself and filling your own cup. So now it's really time for some of you to really take some action when it comes to filling your own cup. You have the Six of Wands, which is beautiful, victory, and the Seven of Wands, very interesting, with the Hierophant. We really could be talking about a Taurus here. Very interesting. Um, you might want to watch that Taurus reading. I, I don't know. It might resonate with you or it might resonate with your situation here. Um, but there is a very strong message, especially for those of you that have really been doing a lot of inner work. Okay, um, Your higher self is coming into play here with the higher font that has come out at the bottom of the reading. Or I'm sorry, at the bottom of the deck. Um, Six of Wands and Seven of Wands. You really have reached a new level. There is a sort of victory here. Um, and there are there are greater boundaries put in place. Maybe the action that you need to take is putting those boundaries in place. Or maybe the action is having put the boundaries in place and now being able to really move forward with what it is you truly want to do, where you're, the direction that your higher self is taking you in. Um, and the actual, also the action could be moving in that direction, like getting going, okay? Starting to take the steps that you've been guided to take maybe for some time, yeah? All right, getting into the reading here. Now, I normally I've been saying this was the first half or the second half of your month, but you don't have to look at it that way, okay? It really could just be the first half of the reading and the second half of the reading, right? Take it as it resonates. If it does turn out to be resonant with the first half and second half of your month, that's excellent, but it doesn't have to be that way, okay? First half of the reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. We have the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a Cancerian energy, um, whether that be you're connecting with a Cancerian or you have Cancer in your chart, doesn't matter, okay? But what I'm feeling here is that you've been holding your feelings back for long enough, potentially. Um, you've been really, potentially really been focused on your emotions, um, on your feelings, what does that actually mean for you? Very focused on your own cup. And now it's time to take action with it. Like literally, that's the first thing I heard when I saw this Queen of Cups. You've been holding on to your feelings for long enough or you've been observing them for long enough. And now it's time to take some sort of action here, okay? Queen of Cups is coupled with <laughs> Temperance. Yes, you absolutely have. Now, this is a Sagittarian energy too. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or you could have Sagittarius in your chart. But what's most important here is you've been going through an alchemy, alchemization process, Aquarius. And also, like, keep in mind that the, the words that I'm using here to describe it, it doesn't have to be this way. Um, you, you, maybe, maybe you haven't been, maybe this month of April, you will be really working on focusing on your feelings. Maybe that's the action you need to take. The, the action you need to take is to put up some boundaries and really focus on your own cup. Okay, and bringing that, bringing yourself into balance, focusing on your emotions and balancing them out, grounding them, learning from what's going on emotionally inside of you. What does that mean for you? And taking action towards it. Okay, so either, either you're going into the month of April with this energy, like needing to focus on your emotions more, or you're entering into the month of April having done that work. Okay, having balanced yourself out, having spent enough time to focus on your emotional reality, and now it's time to take action steps from there. Either way, take it as it resonates, yes? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. We have the Six of Cups. My, my, my. We do have a soulmate situation here. Um, someone, a past energy, a past love, friendship, past life situation, or something that just makes you nostalgic. You could be connecting with someone that really, they may not be a past or, or someone from your past. They may be quite very, fairly new to you, but you two share some sort of common ground that makes you feel nostalgic, reminds you of, of maybe when you were a kid or a, a certain period in your life that you were really fond of. Um, 
For others of you, there's emotional healing around your childhood that needs to happen during this time right now, which would be what the Queen of Cups and Temperance uh, is referring to. Um, the Queen of Cups is a very compassionate, very loving, uh, unconditionally loving energy. Um, and so, yeah, there is some clearing, some cleansing that needs to happen potentially with your past or your childhood, okay? Six of Cups is coupled with, yes sir, the Hanged Man. Piscean energy, but there is a new perspective that needs to be gained here. Brand new perspective that you're working on gaining here. And that's what this alchemical process in temperance is talking about, okay? Potentially. Again, this is a general reading. <laughs> All right, your challenge in the first half of the reading here, you have the fool taking that leap of faith. For some of you, yeah, uh, um, okay, so if we're talking about a, a soulmate relationship here, the hanged man is really dis is really talking about how, you know, you've been holding yourself back for quite a lot for quite a while. Um, which is why I heard with this Queen of Cups, you've been holding on to your feelings for long enough. Now there's some sort of illumination or a new perspective, okay? Um, maybe you've come to realize that you two really do have this deep soulmate bond, and now it's time to take action towards taking that to the next step, potentially. Your challenge here is taking that leap of faith, okay? Moving in a new direction. For others of you, if we're not talking about a soulmate relationship and we're just talking about doing your own personal healing, the challenge is to take that leap of faith in the, in the direction that your higher self in the hierophant here is leading you towards or is guiding you towards, okay? The fool is coupled with... King of Wands, fi uh, fire energy, uh, Leo specifically, as in the fixed ar archetype of the fire element, but also could be an Aries or a Sagittarius. But stepping, f the, the, the biggest message in the King of Wands here is confidence. Um, stepping forward in confidence, taking action in confidence, knowing what it is that you want, knowing what it is that you're going after, and just doing it. Um and not allowing yourself to be doubtful, belief in yourself here, that you will succeed in whatever it is you're doing. The Fool and the King of Wands. It's really time to start taking action, Aquarius, in whatever way that is. And I, Aquarius is a fixed sign, so I do feel like maybe some of you have gotten into some a, a bit of a rut where you are just constantly thinking and gotten to the point where now you're overthinking the situation and you really just need to start taking action, okay? It's entirely possible. The closing message or potential outcome here in the first half of your reading, you've got the Five of Pentacles. Now, this is why I think some of you may have gotten into a rut in overthinking the situation and not taking action. You don't want to be rejected or you've been dealing with rejection from the past and you just don't want to get hurt. But look, guys, you can't be in this world especially in the current state that it's in, you can't be in this world without facing some sort of rejection. I mean, you can't. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Even if you do face, if, even if you do hit a brick wall or or a, a, a door is slammed in your face or you, you, you experience some sort of rejection, so what? Their fault, their problem, not yours. They don't know what they're missing out. Take your, your, your fine ass and go somewhere else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, don't even worry about it. Five of Pentacles is coupled with the world. You don't have to worry about... Face the rejection. Literally, face the rejection faith head on. What's the worst that could happen? Honestly, what's the worst that could happen? The world is a completion, an ending of a karmic cycle, I'm hearing specifically. Um, this really could be, for some of you, the end of some sort of rejection. But this comes from loving yourself enough to know your own worth. Ace of Cups. So maybe for some of you, this action that you need to take is loving yourself enough to close out this cycle of rejection, or not? maybe if it's not closing out the rejection altogether, it's closing out the way you respond to it, the way you see it. Maybe that's what this change in perspective is, that stemming from your childhood, the fear of rejection, okay? 
All right, Aquarius. Damn, that's that's great. That's really, really great. But it's challenging. Not going to lie. It's challenging, but it's great. Okay, getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies. You've got the Empress. Aww. You see, rejection ain't a thing, guys. Why? Because when you recognize your own beauty, your own abundance, the abundance of the universe, there is no rejection that can really be the end-all, be-all. There is always more where that came from. And I don't mean the rejection. I mean the opportunities. Okay? That's what the Empress talks about here. Abundance. Unconditional love also. So no matter what you may have gone through in your past, you are still lovable. Everybody deserves love. And no one's past will ever actually define who they are fully. It was just an experience to help them get to where they are, where they find themselves at any given moment in time, okay? The Empress is coupled with, ooh, the King of Cups. Scorpio energy or another water sign, P Pisces or Cancer. But look at this, you guys. You've got the counterparts here. The King and the Queen of Cups. Okay. Um, you know, the main thing that I'm getting with this is... I feel like this is you, Aquarius. Because this is another fixed sign. Okay. And Aquarius, you are a fixed sign. I feel like... What this is saying with the uh, apprentice, uh, I'm sorry, with the Empress and the King of Cups, I just feel like this is saying to you, there are plenty of opportunities for you to show your love to someone or express your love to someone. You don't have to worry that you don't have a partner out there or that you won't be able to resonate with someone. Um, this really just feels like encouragement for you to believe that you are in fact lovable. Okay, that's really what this feels like. Because I really, I see the Empress standing behind this King of Cups as like that supportive motherly energy encouraging their child to go out in the world and, and love. Right? That's what I'm seeing here. Now, just because this is a king doesn't mean this is just a masculine energy or a, ma a man, uh, in gen a male in gender. Um, this is just representing the fixed elements of our dualistic lives, whereas the counterpart to that would be the cardinal element. Um, so this could be, even if you are a woman, and I know mostly women watch these readings here, um, it's, that, it's just energy, all right? It's not gender. You don't have to see it as just gender, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Independence, strong independence. Um, being content, uh, uh, within and in, of your, in and of yourself, um, you know, it's funny because the five of pentacles to me is an energy of saying, or there's something that I used to say a lot was that no one can really reject you other than yourself. Um, you're really the only person that can leave you out in the cold. Other people leave yourself out in, the, out in the cold. Other people may do that. You may perceive their actions as doing that. But unless you put yourself out in the cold too, you'll always have yourself to keep yourself warm. You know what I mean? And that's what this Nine of Pentacles energy is saying. There is, in the month of April, I feel like some of you are really going to come to terms with the fact that you can be okay and actually very content with yourself. You don't have to have another person there for you to make you happy. And honestly, that's just codependency anyway. You want to work yourself away from that. So I do feel like some of you are really going to be either working on that lesson or achieving it this month. Okay, Nine of Pentacles is coupled with oof, the Five of Wands. But there's conflict around it. There's tor turmoil around it. There's differing of opinion. And this really could be outside opinions here, okay? Opinions that are external to you, that you may have assimilated throughout your lifetime. This is potentially from like your family as a child growing up or from like your close friends or colleagues and whatnot. Um, but in the overall energy for the month here, you have the Ace of Cups with the Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands, all right? And that Seven of Wands is talking about boundaries, setting boundaries for yourself and loving yourself for who you are, choosing to believe what you choose to believe, and receiving a victory from that with the Six of Wands, okay? Beautiful. Your challenge here in the second half of your reading, you've got 
the Ten of Wands. Wow, releasing a lot of these burdens. I really do feel like there's a lot of external burdens that are keeping you from manifesting what it is you truly want. There is a lot of influence for people around you that I'm picking up on here that just needs to be let go of. That is what's holding you back. Your belief system needs to be readjusted, realigned, but not just realigned with what you think is better or what some guru says is better. What do you resonate with? What kind of relationship do you want? What do you want your life to look like? Align with that, not with what others tell you it should be. That Screw that shit. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ten of Wands is coupled with... Ten of Swords. Looks like that kind of stuff is over, huh? Ten, ten. Completions, endings of cycles. I mean, you do have the world here, too. Wow. Okay. Well, I like that, then. Let's close this out. Uh, potential outcome or final message here for you in the second half of your reading, Aquarius. You have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so this is the energy of looking through everything that is in front of you and saying, okay, what do I want to keep? What resonates with me and what doesn't? But this is from the perspective of your own desires, your own mind, not the influence of others, not what people say it should be. Not what people want for you. What do you want for yourself here, okay? Seven of Cups is coupled with... Mm-hmm! The Four of Wands. I mean, damn. This really is an energy of coming into union with your own self. And taking action that you feel guided to take internally, not externally, not what your mama, your mom, your dad, your daddy, your auntie, your grandma, your grandpa, uh, your uncle, your auntie, uh, like your, your cousin, your sister, your best friend, your bro, like, no, no. What do you want, Aquarius? How do you want your life to look? What do you want to experience in your life? What do you want in a relationship? What do you want in a partner? Not what everyone else tells you. Okay? So there you have it, Aquarius. Again, thank you so much for being patient with me, and I hope this reading was helpful for you. I hope it resonated. Um, if Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please just go ahead and email me, and I will help you get set up. Yeah? But I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again soon for the month of May. Yes? Take care. Mwah! Bye!